Or can use the settings reloaded. Orca preferences. No, we're back at we're still in the Orca preferences, so I'm gonna hit the tab key. Tab. Cancel button. Tab. OK button. Tab. General page. Now I'm back on the general page. I'm gonna hit the right arrow. Speech page. Now I'm on the speech page option. I'm gonna tab. Tab. Enable speech check box checked. We obviously want that checked. Tab. Speech system. Speech dispatcher combo box. We're just gonna leave it on a speech dispatcher. Tab. Speech synthesizer. Default synthesizer combo box. We'll leave it on the default synthesizer also. Tab. Voice settings. Default combo box. We'll leave that at default. Tab. Person. Default default voice and combo box. Right here you can change the person. Afrikaans af. Afrikaans af. If you hit the arrow key, which I just did, now it's not, you can change languages here. Um. Bosnian BS. Bosnian BS. Catalan car. Catalan car. There's a lot of languages to go through. Bosnian BS. Afrikaans af. Default default voice and. Default just, default voice and. I'm just gonna leave it on default for now, but just to show you. Tab. Rate. Slider 60. The rate is set at 60 by default. I usually put it up to like 95, but for. Uh, this demonstration sake, I'm not going Orca to do preference. that, just in case. Orca preferences, speech page rate, slider 60. Just in case you can't understand uh, the the speech of Orca, I'm going to leave it where it's at. Tab, pitch, slider 5.0. I, I always leave the pitch where it's at. Tab, volume, slider 10.0. The volume set at 10, that's as high as it can go. Tab, punctuation level panel most, selected radio button. You can change what punctuations Orca will read. Right now it's on most, if you hit the arrow key. All. Selected radio button. It'll read all punctuation. None. Selected radio button. You can have read none. All. Selected most. Selected just, radio button. I just leave it on most. Tab. Reposity panel row rows. Selected for tab. Table rows panel speed row. Selected radio button. Tab. Progress bar updates panel enabled checkbox checked. That, that will speak the progress bars for you. Tab. Frequency text. 10 selected spin button. Tab. Restrict to application combo box. Tab. Speak blank lines checkbox checked. Tab. Speak indentation and justification checkbox not checked. Tab. Speak multi-case strings as words checkbox not checked. Tab. Speak object mnemonics checkbox not checked. Tab. Speak tutorial messages checkbox not checked. Tab. Speak child position checkbox not checked. Tab. Break speech into chunks between pauses checkbox checked. Tab. Say all by sentence combo box. Tab. Help button. Tab. Apply button. Tab. Cancel button. Tab. OK button. Tab. Speech page. Now we're back at, this, at the beginning of the speech page. I'm going to right arrow over. Braille page. This is for setting up uh, braille displays, which I don't have one set up, so uh, you can go through that on your own. Key echo page. Now we're on the key echoes. Tab. Enable key echo checkbox checked. Uh, I don't like the key echoes. I only like the echo by word, so I'm going to uncheck that. Space not checked. Tab. Enable echo by character checkbox not checked. Tab. Enable echo by word checkbox not checked. Space checked. That's what I want. Tab. Enable echo by sentence checkbox not checked. Tab. Help button. Tab. Apply button. Now I'm gonna apply. Return. Orca user settings reloaded. Orca preferences. Cancel button. OK button. Key echo page. See, now you don't hear it saying tab. I'm back on the key echo page. I'm going to right arrow. Magnifier page. This is for screen magnification for low vision users. Key bindings page. The key bindings page, there's tons of stuff. You can set up hotkeys with Orca. I won't go through that, but uh, you can check that out on your own. But that, you can do lots of stuff with setting up hotkeys with Orca. Pronunciation page. Text attribute page. General page. I just keep right arrowing through and that's giving me all the main menus. Now I'm back at the general page. So that's the uh, Orca preferences that you can go through and set up everything how you want it. Um, that's basically how you get Vinix up and running and kind of tweak Orca the way you want it. Thank you for listening to this, to this episode and we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.